private practice program? Well, initially, initially, they saw a lot of content that was on local television. Uh, I was being featured in publications um, uh, that were a few national publications, but the biggest thing that happened was they gave me a call from the Associated Press one day. They asked me about a show called The Bachelor. And the next day I was in 17,000 newspapers around the world. And ever since then I've been a national authority on relationships and personality type. You can't have a good relationship with someone else until you have a good relationship with yourself. My goal is not to keep a couple together nor to break them up. What I do in my practice is I help people become self-actualized. I help them to understand themselves, their communication styles, their blind spots. I help them gain insight into the triggers that adversely can sometimes control their lives. And if I can do that, if I can make you um, aware of who you are not, if I can get you to accept who you're not, if I can get you to a place where you understand yourself and, and the things that block you and hinder you in your own communication style, your own conflict management style, quite naturally that improves you as an individual. If you improve both individuals, you naturally create an opportunity to elevate and improve the relationship for the couple. I'm one of the best people in the world at what I do, and it's because I get up in the morning and I eat, drink, sleep, and breathe what I do. I start my day off um, working on myself spiritually, mentally, and physiologically. I spend a lot of time elevating my game by constantly reading, constantly doing research and being permeable to new ways to do old things. By positioning myself for evolution, I evolve everything around me and that is the key to my success and the key to anybody else's success that's out there because at the end of the day, I'm an idea. I'm an ever evolving, ever expanding idea and I'm the mirror for what I want to bring out in my clients. So when I can see it working in my life, I know it's not going to be a problem to work in yours. Looking in the mirror, I like what I see, but I want to be better than what I see. And that inspires me. I want to be better than I was the day before, a hell of a lot better than I was the month before, and sure enough, better than I was a year ago. As you never get comfortable, successful people don't get comfortable. And people that end up number one in what they do, the only person you're competing against at that point is you, and it pays to win. In other words, if you want to be what you're created to be, you have to beat yourself and be better than you were the day before.